Hi, Lulu. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. Good to have you here. Long Thank、time. you. Yeah, it's been very long.、Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're looking very beautiful and bright. Thank you. <laughs> I'm told I'm glowing. Yes, you are. <laughs>、um, my name is VQ. Veronique.、Um, most people know me as VQ. Veronique. Alex call me Veronica, so you can pick、hmm. whichever you VQ want. VQ sounds so cool. Okay, <laughs> I love that too. <laughs>、um, so I just wanted us to introduce this、uh, program together.、Mm -hmm. Do you know what Tikambe is about? Honestly, no. Tikambe.、Mm -hmm. Actually, I only found out about Tikambe when I started on this program.、Mm -hmm. When I was approached to be a part of this program,、okay. and that's when I followed Tikambe on Twitter、mm -hmm. and on Facebook.、Mm -hmm. And now I am sort of, you know, always seeing it popping up on my feed、yes. about you know the great discussions that are going on. I really like a lot of the topics that Tikambe, you know,、mm -hmm. kind of brings on the table.、Mm -hmm. Stuff that. I wouldn't normally see on my feed. Yeah, yeah. Yes, the kambe is let's talk.、Um, your tongue, I don't know how you call it. A tuambaula. A tuambaula. I think <laughs> the tonga shouldn't kill me for messing up the language. Okay.、Um, so today we、we'll、just show a video、mm -hmm. which I haven't seen as well. And before we do that,、mm. um, I have seen a video going on about you and your baby. Oh. oh. Me and Asa. Okay,、yeah. that, you know what? That、mm -hmm. took me by such surprise. I mean, the firstly, it's the first time I've had an interview with my daughter.、Um, so she was very nervous, but we were both sort of excited. She didn't look like it. <laughs> I get the text from you. Yeah, and I guess I didn't expect all the emotion. You know that came out. It was raw. It was real. And she tells me she loves me every day.、Mm -hmm. You know, we we are great at communicating our feelings to each other. You、mm -hmm. know, I'm big on that, on communicating how you feel about a person.、Mm -hmm. You know, I just lost a friend, and I keep feeling, oh, I wish I told him more that I、mm. loved him.、Yeah. But that's one thing in in my home with Asa that we we always do, and as a family, that we always try to do. So, I would have expected to be okay with it, but you know, <laughs> yeah, it's so it, much. It got emotional.、Girl. Yeah. yeah. I、okay. did the ugly cry on TV. <laughs> that was worth it. I mean,、yeah. it was worth it. She's、uh. so sweet. It's just this thing, seeing a mother and a daughter talking at such a young age, which I think I didn't experience with my mom. She was always busy doing this, that, businesses.、Mm. But just look at where it would get us if it starts at that age. Well, I, I'm glad that it it's.、Um, Something that has come out positively, and I'm hoping more people can do it.、Mm -hmm. It's really important, you know, what we say to each other has such power. Yeah, you know, especially with、um, it's both a girl child and a boy child.、Mm. But with a girl child, I always believe I want her to know she's beautiful and she's loved、mm -hmm. already, and she doesn't have to go out looking for a guy、mm. to give her that love. Yeah, and it works the same way for a boy child. Sometimes we concentrate yeah, yeah. <laughs> on one side, but. It's so important. It is. Yeah. It is. I have just seen something on early childhood development、mm -hmm. that, in just that conversation, you don't know how long it will take your baby because she will have to talk about your conversations forever、mm -hmm. with whoever man she would ever meet. You know how that you show her love and how she expects it,、mm. which is so huge. You know. Okay,、mm -hmm. enough with that talk. <laughs> but <laughs> we are、okay. going to see a video which I haven't seen as well. Oh really?、Um, so it's a surprise. Yeah.、Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hopefully, no tears. But afterwards, then we have、um, a discussion. Are you ready for the challenge? <sighs> Let's have it.、Okay. At least I know I'm blind with you, or we don't know what's happening. Let's、All、watch、right. the video. Okay. Ne ne bushara ni mtali, nchi kala kuwacha kabi. Na alisa mbila pa ben kapofi, mkuiti seven. Sio na alisa mbila pa ben kapofi, na sana kuate fumu, shin na sixteen years. So fumu fa ya pe ni amani ni pe kuskuru, bata tu pari sabarika, pari sabao, pari safuwa, fuwa shirika. So, if you can't remember, but you should. 
paciente na limba exam foi a Ashley fumar mas já o tive mandando o Ashley porque a escola não manda Ashley baby na hora de limba que você vem o que enchar isso na free mind e na ok after final isso na corte fumo panganda já disse a Ashu paco já cosaco e não precisa fazer nada para não fia o ala lá com paniba para ir antes mas o cheiro vai me vender também não fomos gente lá mas já na escola fia fia na abuela se vinte na hora de andar com o meu dinheiro deixa o ativo lá isso não me na lá lá com o que fia na mãe eu sou na escola na leva para sentir mais nem fumo não tem mais essa não vai fazer nem bandeira nem bandeira nem fumo aí não paga anda não vai chover chá lá vai chani só não na lá nem bandeira nem bandeira não fez o chini até o aí zé Shali sana, na kuskurso kuti limbai sha peri ya kwamba la poko la limbai exam, shpose la kwa namba nundi fe absent nundi fe kumbi, yeye, ba ushwa mwana ba inuvani ba, fe afine, tre mwana na, efe shle mfua ya na sumina, efe ambiri na kula shindi kuskuru, na na kumbuka sana kwenye la, fe afine sometimes zimbiari ndole la, e funa shi kwa tani fum. After na kwa tayi fumo, ifo ya shiria yambo kula 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 kula, mani picha panga nda ngi afi ifo tume na pamara sana sio, na tao na kana na lenye fumzo tinga na landa ba langu, fine fe vuti ngi mani picha ndi kana, sio mu ame na ali ba fia ba nanti, eh, ali ba shumi kila tume tala kwa tayi fumo sana sio, pati ni nari kana ngi mwana folo kuba nanti, so after ifo. Efu ba mama ba shi limbona tio wa rikwa tifu mo kana na tao efu ba shi inji kadi kwa dad ba sa ishwa ba sa aweba kuwando efu ba shi tifu nimpia yaku ya kuspito atra checking efu ba shi ya kuspito to sanya tumashini na yena inga efu ba shi tuwa wera after tuwa wera efu ba shi inji tava dad ba hamu kula nipsha makushin na chile unfa tuwa rikwa tifu mo swana swa shafishin kula bofna ka. Fala até de manhã para te partir na hora de quarta nisso o ar fia minha. Pando fala que te tira a fé te trouxe te fez um sangue. Ele falou que te dão cani já fingi e fala que vai te suar e te está com life e ande. Ele não vai nem nada te tira muito feito não vai fazer depois não vai nada te tira muito ninguém só engava e chuva. Nem não foi feito fia ande para te dizer não me sai um fogo feito não foi nem chuva. Não mandar de fia fio que vai te dar para te dizer. Já chega na minha te fui nem estou te fia te fia te fia está muito fi. Shia ishiri na ine wina dawa zina ine. Tete skele mukwati amapangi omo ampekani shia ya ya pere de panchi la. Hilo tu akumi ni shia ishiri tu sana kwa tefu. Nishindi mwaichi. Once tu adi fia mwaichi. Tato ishiri pe fia kuichingi la. So that's why ili mbeta ingeno kwa tifu kwa tomo anaud. Sana sala kwa tifu ili ine filo na papi le filo dia. Nale fimo le fimo tu ok. That's why nangua fia shiva dina nita. Sio la wafudiro, na lisa ambapo pisha mo na toa kiopo wa dirandia na afimo na, chia sa chanzo shopa, chia sa papa tafu kwa chisendo, nima na ishita fanya understand tapa juu phone ingeshita le sa limpe ya mwana wanti, hmm, sio na ngufuko si kufuta ngufuko ati tafuko si kufu na shafi, hmm, shukuri, kila fanya sa fu ya shopa, shopa kai duma na kula watu ni mbinga fanya kwa amateve na, ni michi tishso amateve na na alamb. Tahu apa tinggal impian saya, fupa nari film yang nanti fiali shupa kan, shuma nak sunga, hari bawa shupa limbi porridge, eh, pon nari film yang nanti kan shuma nari bawa shupa. Hmm, so anda fokus pada sekolah kita sambil yang kita sunga kuat balik cuman, no mana antu dah ini kuat. Ah, okay. Wow, indeed, it's a whole lot of stuff packed day. Yeah, she's so young. Very young. How does that make you feel? It, it, it's so, you know, she said something that was so important and that was she never heard any information about this. You know, she would talk with her friends, but no one ever directly, you know, yeah. advised her mm -hmm. about it. And, mm -hmm. and, and it's sad that there's not a lot of information. But what breaks my heart is that there's so many, you know, I believe in the power of storytelling and, and, and mentorship. Yeah. And, and I just feel, you know, sometimes these girls live in urban areas, you know, and, and there are so many women or men that can share their stories to change their lives, yeah. you know, their lives mm -hmm. and to change the choices that they make. Mm -hmm. 
but it's it's just so sad and you yeah. know she's kicked out of the home mm -hmm. you can't blame the parents you know yeah i i got pregnant um out of wedlock mm -hmm. you know with my first child and it my parents were nice <laughs> but i was 24 yeah. at the time so it's very different for you know someone in grade seven yeah. they're so young so young and and just i could just pick um certain things that you would mention that even if it's just the soap you know the nappies yeah. in all of that i could just pick trauma like she's trying to deal with so much at a very young age and um, and just like you said your parents were nice to you yeah but besides that i think for her all those things they had planned for her it just kept on piling yeah and she had a baby to look after so all that stuff in a little girl who's yeah and who, you know who, she's a firstborn you mm -hmm. feel i'm a firstborn too you feel such yeah. a sense of responsibility mm -hmm. and you know she does mention that you mm -hmm. know when her dad is it told her that you know you're a firstborn and yeah. we, we really wanted more for you and yes, it's it's traumatic for her. Mm -hmm. At 24, even when I had my child, it was hard. Firstly, the pregnancy was yeah. hard. You have some pregnancies that have complications, mm -hmm. and even without complications, it was a very emotional time, yeah. time for me, mm -hmm. extremely emotional. And not having the right support, mm -hmm. especially for a kid that's that young, mm -hmm. you give birth, mm -hmm. and even at 24, for me, I realized, Oh my goodness, this is hard. No, for, it was hard. Yeah. And she's right when she says, it was it's hard. not easy. Yeah. I always say this to young women that it's nice and cool. You see it <laughs> as holding the kids. It's, it's not easy. It's hard. Mm. And it should be harder for her. And I'm wondering, is she getting help? Mm, somewhere. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. but what are we saying to the young people who don't have access to these channels? Yeah that we, you know, we have. Yeah, and I think these are the most vulnerable because um, she was in school and in school you learn sexual reproductive health. But I also think um, to some extent, teachers have a very big um, ratio to, um, sorry, the ratio between the pupils and, and, the, and, the, and, mm. the, and the teachers, it's, 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 there's a very big margin that a teacher wouldn't spend that much time, as you talked about mentorship, mm. to one girl, yeah. this girl who looks like she can get it in class, um, but seeing beyond, I think that's also missing because you know, girls have issues. I mean, yeah. I've <laughs> teenage issues. Yeah. I don't look good. I don't this. Mm. And immediately a, a guy or a man just comments on that. You know, it sticks in your head. Mm. And these children, they are, they'll be in school and the teacher will just mention one or two things about how you should not take this, uh, this, this comment seriously. But beyond that, they just need a person who dedicate time to each one of to them, each one of them, and just pour out their hearts and share their stories, like you said. Talking about teachers, though, mm -hmm. I should mention that I went to a pretty good school mm -hmm. in high school. It was, you know, very elite kids. Mm -hmm. When the teacher got to reproductive health, sexual reproductive health, <laughs> he literally raced through the topic. You see, now I was very quiet in class, but in you know, people still remember this day when they meet me, they're like, hmm, but Lulu, you're crazy. You made the teacher so upset because I raised my hand. I said, uh -uh, teacher, sorry, mm -hmm. sorry. His name was Mr. Gwanzura. <laughs> <laughs> like Mr. Gwanzura, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Please, can we go back a bit? What did you say happens? Mm -hmm. You know, like explain to me. So if a man gets on top of a woman, what did you mean? So if a guy just sleeps on top of me, then I'll get pregnant. Yeah. Please give me the entire person. He got so <laughs> mad at me. Uh -huh. And his favorite, he always used to say, I'll decapitate you. <laughs> <laughs> but that's wrong. You yeah. are a teacher. Uh -huh. And it's, those are such important topics. Mm -hmm. And I guess because it was a Christian school, he felt, yeah, yes. you know, we shouldn't be talking about this. But I believe your role as a teacher is to give us the information that we need beans. and especially in this day and age when yeah. you know access to time alone as kids is 
you know, quite, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you can hide somewhere mm -hmm. and do it. And it's not something new anyways. Yeah. Even the olden days, people used to get pregnant and they would always find a way to go and do it. But now there's all this information mm -hmm. and sometimes that's the only access to information mm -hmm. a child will have. Yeah. So it might not be one-on-one, -on -one, but it's important that teachers really take time on these specific topics yeah. that are critical and that are evident to be a problem if you know one does not have this information. Yeah. It can cause real problems like yeah. you know, early pregnancies. Mm -hmm. And especially for the girls, because we do know, I'm happy that she was able to go and write her exams. exams. Mm -hmm. That's a new phenomenon. I know at, at some time in Zambia and a lot of African countries, kids couldn't write exams and they would be kicked out and that's it. That's it. So I'm glad she's got access yeah. to education still. I also feel that um, the re-entry policy is What's that? <laughs> okay. um, young girls could go back to school and I've seen a oh, lot okay. of, you know, girls who have had children. And thank God because we have these girls who just don't care and they just want to go to school mm. and they put on their uniforms and they're back to class, um, which is really wonderful to see. Yeah. But some parents are not willing to send their children back to school after messing up. Mm -hmm. Sharon was one of those uh, blessed girls who managed to go to school. But like she mentioned, she wasn't she, in it. Yeah, she wasn't you in know? it. And then she also didn't um, go back for grade eight. Yeah, though the policy itself is working, but mm -hmm. as always, we always have to perfect them each time, renew them. More young people need to get that that option and I'm glad that our government has that policy in place. Mm -hmm. mm. So even organizations, I've worked with several organizations and we do talk about young girls, teenage pregnancies and how we can do counseling and all. But I really feel we need to go a step further mm -hmm. to just make sure that these young girls are back on track and yeah. they, are, they, they really look forward to something bigger at the end of the day. Besides whatever society is talking about, you mm -hmm. know. And one other important thing also um, has just been to have the stories like you have shared you know, how many people would look at you afar and say, oh, all yeah, oh, things are okay. Yeah. She got pregnant, she's back on TV, she's up and about. But I don't know that there was so much that was happening. Yeah, there, there was a lot. You know, mm. it affects your work. Yeah. It affects some relationships that mm. you have. And I'm currently glowing because <laughs> I'm expecting. Okay. And it's, it's a very different experience from yeah. what I had the first time. Mm -hmm. But, you know, because of that, and I'm thankful for the experience I had in my first pregnancy because it was hard. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of judgment. There was a lot of talk. Yeah. Um, it was difficult financially for me. Um, I had to do it all on my own. Mm -hmm. I didn't have emotional support of a partner, yeah. which seems to be the same case with Sharon in the story, you mm -hmm. know, that we just saw that it seems she talks about you know having someone before yeah. but he doesn't seem to be in the picture afterwards and i think because of my first experience with my first child and mm -hmm. th that experience of everything i went through i'm more um is it compassionate I'm, about girls yeah <laughs> about you know young girls and and just women mm -hmm. who go through the same um you know process they do and and also how important it is to have a support system yeah. And I was blessed to have a support system because I went into depression, deep, deep, deep depression. Mm. Um, it was hard. And even after I had the child, besides those hardships of dealing with the child, there were all these emotional issues. Yeah. That can mess with your mind. Yeah. Because sometimes you, um, even trying to get into a relationship after for mm. that girl, there's a stigma that this is a girl with a child. Yes. And, you know, it's going to be hard for her to ever get married. Yeah. And most girls like that end up getting into very abusive relationships mm -hmm. because you feel like, I just need someone, yeah. anyone, please. <laughs> and, you know, one would assume that it's the young girls like that in, in, in you know, in, in low cost communities or something that will suffer yeah. in trying to find a man that will not be smart enough. 
but I struggled. Mm. I ended up in very abusive relationships mm. because I too just just wanted to have someone. Yeah. And you know, sometimes you'd find a great person and the person's mother says you can't have a person with a child. And yeah. you know, these are things we need to keep discussing. These yeah. are things we need to talk about. That stigma needs to go. Yeah. And, and young and old women in this situation need to realize that there's hope. Mm -hmm. I had to sit back and wait before I got my wonderful husband. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> but um, I think we need to speak on confidence and rebuilding this young person. Besides, you know, there are lots of projects for young women, young single mothers <laughs> to become entrepreneurs, yeah. to do this and do that. Yeah. But sometimes you make someone an entrepreneur, but you're not working on the, the issue, inside. you know, the inside, which is build that person's self-confidence to know that you're making this money. Mm -hmm. You can be able to do so much with yourself. You don't have mm -hmm. to settle for less. Mm -hmm. We really have to start dealing with the emotional issues. Yeah, yeah. Um, Sharon mentioned that, you know, she wished she had, she had heard some of the things that her dad had said before. before. And I know culturally, That's especially mental. here, mm. very few fathers form a close relationship with their, especially female, you know, kids. Yeah that needs to start to change mm -hmm. you know you need to hear from dad he is the man in your life mm -hmm. telling you certain things yeah. and i know to some it might be like no that's it's not tradition yeah. it's not right yeah but fathers have a, pl a role to play yeah. in our Big. society and even in our churches you know as much as women need to start talking you know they're sharing their stories in these groups of young ladies mm -hmm. I think we should have some men coming and sharing their stories and get to understand how little boys think yeah. or how young yeah. men think. Yeah. And it will help young women to understand some of the stuff they're going through mm -hmm. or help them to make better choices as they meet yeah. you know, different young men. Yeah. Um, just to conclude, what have you learned from the video? Well, Sharon's story has really touched me. I, I got kind of emotional. Well, mm -hmm. I am kind of an emotional person. <laughs> but... Um, I guess it just hits back on the reality of what a lot of young girls are going through yeah. and sort of um, pushes that passion in me for young girls and how important it is that, you know, we, on my end, I should do as mm -hmm. much as I can to mm -hmm. try and help these young people. Mm -hmm. And also showing which areas, you know, as we've spoken, we've found out that it's not just, mm. you know, Sharon, but even the, the boys need education, yeah. the mom and the dad need education, the women in the community need education, and it just kind of opens your eyes to the issues that surround it. Yeah. And, you know, I just want to help and do what I can. And I'm hoping that, you know, whoever is going to watch this will see where they can fit into this puzzle yeah because we all have a role to play and it's mm -hmm. so important it is yeah well i have learned quite a lot which you have talked about i'm prompted to starting my own NGO <laughs> <laughs> right <Yay>. now uh, <laughs> hopefully we'll meet again yeah. on another platform but thank you very much for talking with us at Wambaule. Mm. That's right. Yeah, that <laughs> okay. Yeah, thanks for having me on to come. It's really been awesome. Call me when you open that NGO. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs>